Ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to be a firefighter. My mom would tell me stories of, you know, young child fire truck toys. Uh, my grandfather was a firefighter in the city of Cleveland, Ohio, for 32 years. Uh, he was actually one of the first fire medics up there. He was an EMT instructor. As a young teenager, he kind of gave me some old jackets, and, and you know, I got his old helmet, stuff like that. But I always knew he was a fireman. I was kind of always proud of it. Today's fire service, you'll find we do everything. Uh, the best way I can describe it is we can find any, any situation you have, we have the tools, knowledge, and experience to handle the situation. This isn't a comfortable job, uh, injuries, you know, we get called 24 hours a day. Regardless of weather, we're going to be in the streets working. A proud moment for me was making driver. When I passed the test, it's, it was a hard exam, and I made sergeant. I actually became a driver. I love driving fire trucks. It's probably the best job you can have. Uh, I've driven everything from fire engines to ladder trucks to the squad truck. There's nothing cooler than driving a big piece of red truck down the street with the horn and lights flashing. I find myself as a service-oriented person, and the fire service is perfect for my type of personality and who I am. I like to help people, and it's more than just what I want to help and save a life. So if I spend my time and I improve your day, to me it's all worth it. If this is a field you're interested in, go to college, learn a trade, and then see what the fire department has to offer. At that point, you'd be the most effective person in the fire service with education and skills, and then you just come in and we'll teach you the rest. And from there, you can be unstoppable in this type of field.